previously on Cognition. I'm sorry, Eric. You're gonna hate me for saying this, but I think I could have stopped Scott's death. Wait, what? And you kept this from me? Excuse me, you took the flowers from my brother's grave. Oh, I'm so... <laughs> Don't sweat it. When did your brother die? About six years ago. Scotty died three years ago. Finally you get your ass down here. My ass was busy closing Scott's file. You are what some people call a scion. If you can see the past, is it so strange that you should start seeing the future as well? But if this piece of shit was murdered last night, done in the same way that he killed his victims, then who killed him? How the hell is Davies dead and her killer not apprehended? Sully! Ah, it's Sully! What the hell is going on? Who's doing this? And how do they know about me? I knew you'd make it here. I've been waiting for you to show up. Years. You're about to find out how alike we really are. Please, Erica. Don't disappoint me. I'm here to inform you that Ms. Smith wants you to make yourself at home here. But of course, you wouldn't have gotten in here if she didn't want it. She saw me. I can't see you anymore, but I know you're there. This one has a second name on it. Jeff Therian. Who's that? I passed out because I saw it. It was you getting killed, Max. Your brother there is going to be talking to a judge if he can't explain the situation. I feel like I'm failing. Jeff has all the money. You make sure of that. I'm calling those agents. I'll kill you before I let that happen. Jeff Therian. He's Karobius' son. This is the guy that murdered Scott? Max! Only one of us can leave this place alive. Do not rest until he's put behind bars. I'm sorry, Erica. Did you kill your brother, Miss Smith? Yes. Yes, I did. If we are going to do this, then there are some things we need to go over first. All because of me. Because I couldn't. This will end the way it began. With fire, blood, and tears. This place is lively. I've seen worse. But none as dangerous as this one will be. I'm looking forward to meeting this bastard. If he leads us to Cain. Don't count your chickens yet, Skippy. How have you kept doing this for so long? It's the only thing that still makes sense since Alice left me. Come on, you're not the new kid anymore. You know how it is. Yeah, but the things we see... Listen, Red, I know how you feel. We were all there once. This was one of your first cases, and it's been dragging for three years. But we're gonna catch this son of a bitch. So think about this. It's not about what we see, but about what we could stop others from seeing. And that makes it all a little better. I guess. But that still doesn't make it right. Don't worry, kiddo. If nothing else, the donuts will thicken your skin. Reed, are we all set? Awaiting orders, sir. I appreciate the risk you're taking. 
Stelios and Jetta are both inside now and expecting you, Agent. I've dealt with this guy before. You have to be extremely careful. The minute he sees you flinch, he'll put a bullet through our informant and another one through you. This guy has sold equipment to Kane to build his traps and you have one chance to get an address. Can we go over things one more time? We're short on time. You get three questions. Make them count. Who's Jetta? We already discussed her. She's Stelios' girlfriend, a prostitute junkie who's been our eyes in these circles for a while. The only thing you need to know is that our target trusts her, and that she'll be giving you important information. What's Jetta's code to pass me information? She'll blink once for yes, and twice for no. Be careful. If you overdo it, Stelios will get suspicious. We have only time for one more question, Agent Reed. Where will I get the information about Kane? He keeps a book at the front desk, a register of all his clients. It's not very organized from what I hear, but you might be able to pick up on something. It's your case, after all. How am I supposed to get my hands on it? That's why it's called Undercover, Agent. Convince him to let you take a look at it. We don't have any more time, Reed. You have to go in. Agent McCoy, remember, no interference. You're only there in case things go south. I don't like it one bit. Agent Reed, I will be guiding you as best I can, but Jetta will be giving you information through the code we agreed to. Stelios is paranoid. He'll try to trick you, so be on your guard. And no weapons. He'll sniff you out and kill you before you have a chance to think of using it. Your goal is to get the information about Kane and leave as soon as you can. Understood? Yes, sir. And Reed, do me a favor and keep an eye on Jetta. I told her nothing bad would happen to her. I'll do my best. Thank you. Assume positions. Be ready in five. Be careful, Agent Reed. Erica? I'll be careful. When you asked me earlier why I'm still doing this, before you came along, I could have turned a blind eye to the whole thing. It gets harder to swallow every year. But I'm here today because I had to train this damn rookie. <laughs> Turns out training you is the most natural thing about this job, kiddo. Go take care of that lowlife. Reed, we've got our eyes and ears on you. Your business? We went over this one. You must be Stelios, right? I'm here about the gun shipment. Huh, <laughs> the Russian doll. I thought you were blonde. Remember, Jetta can signal you with eye movements. Be discreet, but look in her direction if you need help with any of Stelios' questions. I thought you were blonde. I don't know what you're talking about. They sent me. Now are we getting down to business, or are you gonna keep wasting my time? Not so fast, pretty face. What's the shipment number? Shit, Reed, we don't have that. 
My client is gonna be really fucking unhappy when I tell him what went down here. You heard me. Shipment number. You heard me. Shipment number. It's over there. <laughs> Did Jay send you? Jack Striker goes by Jay, but he might be tricking you. He has a lot of people running his stuff, and he's particularly known for letting one of his thugs give the orders. Jay sent me. Yeah. Then you wouldn't mind if I gave him a call. Right, Jetta. Nah, I don't think she'd mind. That could get you in deep shit, Erica. On the other hand, it could distract him. Sure, call him. Hey, Jay, I got your girl here. <laughs> yeah, pretty hot ass. <laughs> hey, hot face. He wants to know what's your name. Her name is Vanessa Madsen, but when she deals for him, she goes by Ariel. It's going to be one of those two. Ariel. Yeah, that's it. We're good, Jay. Pleasure doing business with you. All right, what do you want? I'm here to check the inventory on the shipment. Want to make sure everything's in order and that we don't waste my client's time. All right, one final question for you. Here's one for you I tell all my clients. You should know this one. Where do I keep my book? My left or my right drawer? Reed, there's nothing here about that one. Where do I keep my book? My left or my right drawer? Neither. It's the center drawer. Yeah, she's got the smarts. Here, doll, look all you want. Done yet? One minute. Take your time. I can't read it. It's all gibberish. About time you showed up. I don't like keeping your shit for long. It's starting to stink. I need you to ship it somewhere. I'll pay for it all. I'll pay extra. I don't usually do that shit. But you have a mean wallet. Fine. Tell me where. One, two, four, six. You know what's so great about looking at your tits? What? That I can see the fucking wire you're wearing, cop bitch. I got you, you bitch! John, it's now or never! Nobody lies to Stelios! I got you, Reed! Reed? What? You son of a bitch, what? I saw the news. You did those last two pretty bad. My next pair is going to be even better. Who are they? Erica and Scott Reed. I'm taking the boy tonight. Come on, pick up, damn it. Did you find my dad? He's unconscious, but he'll live. I called 911. Stay with him. I have to go. 
Like hell you are. I'm going with you. He said to come alone. I'm not letting you go there on your own. End of story. And call for backup! Our luck was chosen long before now. Now we're just walking it until we get to the final door, and the end begins. I haven't been to the family lake house in ages, but I knew Keith would be here. I couldn't do anything to stop him from killing Erica's brother, but I can make sure he doesn't kill again. I just hope I can do this, and if I can't stop him on my own, well, then I don't know what I'm going to do.